Hi you guys, I hope you're all doing great. Today we are going to do a naturally curly hairstyle. So I have just my wet hair that I just washed and I haven't done anything with. So I'm going to prep with some Moroccan oil. I like to use three pumps or a quarter size dollop, if you can see that. Rub it all over your hands and just dab it into your hair. Just to sort of lightly distribute it. And if you have frizz prone hair, it also helps if you just lightly dab your hair with the towel to dry it. So now that that's in, I'm going to grab my wide tooth comb and I want to flip my head over and I'm going to comb all of my hair up and over because I want more volume, but I also want to sort of loosen the curl up a little bit. I feel like I have a really tight curl when I just let it go on its own and it makes my hair look really short. And I've been growing my hair out for a long time, so I like it to look as long as possible. So if you are like me, you can lightly comb your hair as long as you're using the right products and you're treating your hair well and using quality conditioners and everything like that, then you shouldn't have too much frizz. So just starting, I hope I can stay in camera view for you guys, just starting to flip over. I'm just gonna comb this all down. And don't flip your head back over because you'll lose a lot of the volume you just gave yourself. So just lightly push your hair back. Give it a little shake and let it fall. And I like to just give my hair a little wiggle from the scalp. It sort of lets the curl form a little bit. and reduces the volume just a notch. Not a lot, but just a little. And then lightly scrunch the ends of your hair with your fingers. Get it to bounce back up a little bit. I'm going to go with a far over part today. You could part your hair wherever you feel like. Some people, if they part this far over, their hair will be too heavy on top. So if you don't have a lot of layers, maybe try a part closer to center and see how that works for you but we've all talked about how many layers I have before. So now that I've scrunched a little bit, I'm gonna use Moroccan Oil Curl Cream. This is the Curl Control Cream, which I like because it has a little bit more hold. There's also, they have hydrating styling creams, they have other curl creams that you could try if you have more frizz prone hair, but like I've said in other videos, I don't have frizz prone hair anymore because I have a keratin treatment right now. So I'll probably have frizzy hair by summertime again and, and then I'll be a little bit more careful. But for now, I'm just going to use a little bit of the curl cream. I'm using just one pump because if you use too much, 
your hair will just fall flat. So don't use too much product when you do your curly hairstyles. It's not always a good thing. And so just tipping my head to the side, I'm just going to lightly dab that into the ends of my hair all over. Make sure I get some at the bottom, some in the middle, and some on the top. So you could just let this air dry if you wanted to. I'm going to show you how to use a diffuser with your blow dryer. I live in Michigan. We've had a warmer winter this winter, but it's still winter, so I'm not going to go outside with curly hair because, of course, I'm getting ready for work because I always film my videos when I'm getting ready for work. Just going to grab my towel and wipe my hands off really quick. Make sure your hands aren't slippery before you grab your blow dryer because it'll just fall right out of your hands. <laughs> now, this blow dryer is not necessarily ideal for using my diffuser, but I love this blow dryer. So I, I have a universal diffuser. I like the ones that have the little prongs on the inside because they kind of let your hair curl around them and uh, it helps to form the curl while it's drying. So you place your diffuser onto the blow dryer, but what I have to do, because it's slippery, I have to hold my diffuser while I'm blow drying. You don't have to do that if you don't have a slippery blow dryer. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, again, keep tipping my head to the side. I'm gonna scoot back so I stay in view a little bit better. I'll tip my head to the side and lightly blow dry. I'm going to use warm air but high volume because hot air will expand the cuticle too much and just make you a frizzy mess.
So once you've gone all around with your diffuser, go ahead and let your hair fall back into position. Sometimes I go and I pull the hairs back out from around my ears or I fix the back a little bit, but your hair should be like 60% dry right now, just a little bit more than half dry. You don't want to dry it too much. Fuzzball, say no more. Um, you may have noticed that once in a while when I get towards the top of my head, I, I lift the hair with my fingers and then place my diffuser. That just helps to get a little bit more wave towards the root and a little bit more volume in areas where you have trouble getting volume. But another fun thing that I like to do because I like my hair to have fullness and I like a messy curly style. I don't like it totally controlled because it's a good base for messy updos and stuff like that. I just take my blow dryer on low and keep it really close to my scalp, but go around and just make sure I'm nice and dry at the root area. So I'm gonna show you guys that really quick. So now you could finish with some sea salt spray. I like to finish with a little bit of hairspray and make sure that my curls last all day. But there is your pretty easy, I think it's pretty easy, naturally curly hair tutorial. Go ahead and scrunch your hair a little bit as it's drying to help keep the curl nice and bouncy and just have fun with it. Play around with putting clips in it, maybe throw a braid in it when it's dry to show off some texture and enjoy your natural curls for a day. Thanks for watching you guys. I hope you liked it. Leave a comment and please subscribe. Um, if you ask me any questions, I always try to answer. Take it easy.